Hello Subaru fans that like cartoons as well. This is a Choro Q, a deformed Subaru of around uh, year 2000 WRX STI. I used to have a 1999 Subaru Impreza wagon. Nothing special, just this bone stock one. So I, I still have a soft spot for the Impreza. You know, it was a really reliable car. It was my winter car. So you'll see there's different wheels that come on these things. But I think those are the Pro Drive ones. I think actually all of them are Pro Drive wheels. But anyways, uh, so Choro Q just has some gold standard molded five spokes there, and then uh, we have the clear body, as you can see here, and it's painted this metallic color. So the headlights are clear. The windshield is obviously clear. Uh, I think this grill might be clear as well, or maybe there's black paint in there. Yeah, maybe there's black paint. Same with that vent. Sadly, the turn signals are not painted. Uh, but it's nice to see this bright pink thing for the uh, emblem and then the grill also has uh, a little bit of a texture in there as well no black paint up here but it's nice to see the, the vents there there's the spring motor these are uh, pullback toys they go quite fast actually uh, and then this is actually matching the side photo the rear the rear window is highly tinted in that side photo but here quite clear a little molded uh, marker light, uh, fuel filler, uh, the side little groove here, and the wing is a separate piece, nicely done. Well, actually, maybe that's not so great. Pretty plain tail lights, but at least they're painted, and for some reason there's no sticker there. Maybe it fell off from the previous owner or something. That's blacked out as well. Interesting. And then uh, this thing came out in 2007, all right? So I'm going to do a wheel swap because, uh, again, I have a soft spot for this. And I 3D printed my own five spokes, or six spokes. I forget, six. All right, so, oh, very often that tab is very annoying. You have to shave it down, but not in this case. All right, so I'm going to take this motor out. Save these tires and motor for later. And then I have a different motor where I took out the axle. Pop that back in. Pop that in. Pop that in. Where's my hand screwdriver? I don't want to strip out the plastic hole there. That electric drill would probably tear it up. Okay. So now I use some poster putty to put there. I usually like to put a bigger one in the rear because the tire itself is bigger. Alright, so I have 3D printed uh, brakes in there as well with some red calipers. And actually, that matches up pretty well. Uh, the rear caliper is kind of like up here towards the rear. It's kind of weird, but that's what the photograph is telling me. So I'm going to go with that. And then the front caliper is in the normal position by the door. You know what? That tire is not so good. Just hold on. I gotta flip this tire around. Oh, this is just a messed up tire. Hold on, I gotta find another one. Okay, let's look at a few other Impreza's here. I actually have the same identical casting, but it's got the WRC livery on it. In this particular case, who's the driver? Colin McRae. Okay. And yeah, I 3D printed my own wheels again on that one, but no brakes. It's a different shade of blue entirely. This one is not... Yeah, it's a different, different blue. Alright, so here we have the Bug Eye Impreza. And again, 3D printed wheels with some brakes on this one. This one has some sort of winter rally wheels on it. I 3D printed it again. Uh, it's not the bug eye, I don't know. I think it's maybe, I don't know what generation that one is. Those are all Choro Qs. Now this one is a freebie by Wanda Coffee. And I still 3D printed my own wheels on this. You'll notice the tires are the same size, whereas Choros have big rear tires. And this is awesome for something that's free. It's all tampo printed, you know. It's still a pullback toy, not that I care about that. But it was free. <laughs> and here's another one. Again, 3D printed wheels. So, the hatchback. Very cool stuff. 
So, as I mentioned, they like the Impreza. I, sh I did test drive a WRX when I was shopping around. It was pretty fun, but it wasn't an STI, just a regular uh, WRX back in the day. Okay, that is it for today. Here's a little Gundam Gelgoog or whatever they're called. And yeah, I'm happy I got this one. It's technically the same casting, but it's a, you know just a regular road-going version, and I have different wheels, so it works for my collection. All right, I appreciate you guys checking this one out, and hopefully you'll see you in the next Subaru cartoonish video.